Ridiculous, ridiculous. It's, I don't see a light at the end of the tunnel. Inflation, something we've all gotten used to hearing about. And with rising costs of food, gas, and housing, it affects everyone including nonprofits. So you've got an increased need and an increased cost. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on small nonprofits. I spoke with Community Cooperative CEO Stephanie Inc. Edwards on how these increases in grocery prices hurt their ability to bring meals to Southwest Florida families. We start seeing an increase, a significant increase, to be honest, in clients and individuals who are looking for support who have never relied or needed on our our services before and on the other side of things it's very costly for us to go out and buy food and supplies to keep up with all of our programs putting pressure on all socioeconomic groups so many families are feeling that pinch especially at the grocery store and that's a great place where community cooperative can come in and help um, with those groceries and because community cooperative relies on donation and a generous community it can be hard to find the funding when all are affected there's a lot of people who will think twice about donating to an organization versus keeping the dollars for themselves and their families and what they need so it can be a really scary time for us. According to CNN Business that cited the U.S. Bureau of Statistics, food prices have jumped over 6% in the last year, and Florida residents are feeling that pinch. But many question what has caused this increase. I, I don't think it's legislative at all. I really don't. I, I, just, I just think it's the cost of materials, the cost of, of uh, gas to transport these materials. Uh, that has a lot to do with it. Administrative changes, at the highest level have caused all these problems. But no matter the cause, it is affecting all people and the way they live. And I don't see how some families even survive with, you know, with kids and whatever. Hopefully soon, with administrative changes, things may return halfway back to the way that they were. For now, people in Southwest Florida will continue to budget and find ways to navigate increasing inflation. In Cape Coral, Bella Line, Fox 4.